Would you eat your own placenta? Would you? Because it's a thing. And I want to talk about that in this video. Is it beneficial? Have you done it before? Let me know in the comments. I'm Remy, I'm an obstetrics and gynecology doctor who works in the NHS and I've been doing so for more than 10 years. I am building her health room as a space for women who've delivered to have recovery and optimization of their health, focusing on physical, mental and social recovery. On this page, I share educational topics regarding anything to do with the postpartum period. And I hope that you'll stick around, subscribe to this channel and join in. So there's a trend where women are eating their placentas and I'm not like thinking about eating it raw, although that's what I have in my head, but they're getting it processed and turned into tablets, gummy bears, face creams, you name it. And what's the reason behind it? Is it something that's actually worth doing or is it just a fad? I think to best understand, I think to best understand the trend, we kind of need to circle our way back and figure out what does the placenta even do? What is it there for? So the placenta is something that forms at the time of the pregnancy in the first trimester and it serves as your baby's lifeline. It's a beautiful organ that's developed alongside your growing baby that regulates hormones, blood flow, blood pressure, risk of infection, you absolutely name it. And your blood goes through the placenta and there is a filter the baby's blood comes by and takes all the amazing nutrients that you have to give. So you can imagine, this is this organ that seemingly comes out of nowhere, that has the superpowers to regulate hormones, to generate growth, to take away toxins. I mean, it's amazing, right? I can imagine people are like, oh my gosh, it does all these things. And once it's delivered, we just chuck it away. Why not hold on to all that amazing goodness and transfer into the mother's body, the baby's body, and some people as well are also ingesting the placenta of their partners. So there is a lot of goodness, but hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's dive in a bit more. Once your baby is born, the placenta has done its job. So do you know what the womb does? It's like, sayonara, see you later. And once the placenta and the cord come out, which I'll show you here, that's it, it's done. It no longer has a blood supply. It no longer has a lifeline. At that point in time, all the hormones and the nutrients are potentially just trapped within the placenta with nowhere else to go. And like with anything that doesn't have an active blood supply, it slowly begins to die until you think about encapsulation. So how does that actually work? They take the placenta, they clean it, and then it needs to be left to dry, like dehydration process. And some people do this in machines, some people leave it in the freezer, and then it then needs to get mulched up or grinded. And this is not something that you should be doing at home yourself because of the risk of infection, but there are companies that do this for you. And then with the powder, they can either turn that into capsules that you can swallow, or gummy bears, like someone I saw on TV mention, or they can put it into other ingredients like face creams. Again, because again, why wouldn't you want all those hormones on your face? But like with anything and with everything, the more you process it, the less the nutrients are preserved. And if we think about what the placenta does when it has an active blood supply, when it's the lifeline of your baby, what have people claimed that having their placenta in tablet form or gummy bear form has done for them? So the reported benefits are improved sleep, increased breast milk supply, reduced fatigue, better mood, replenished iron levels, and overall just feeling better and well recovered after birth. And again, if that is the champion line for the supplements that you're taking, everybody will take it. But again, let's go back to the thought process. If the nutrients are just not as strong as they would have been in its life form, are there other things that you can take to get those benefits that you want, like better sleep, better iron levels, feeling well recovered, potentially. But also I can see how people are like, well, that's fake or synthetic nutrients. Well, my placenta is natural from me. But what does the science say? Does science say that it's safe? And obviously I'm a doctor, so I'm biased. But I think it's really important to note that the science says that there's not enough evidence to prove that it is in fact beneficial. And I like to have a very objective hat on. Not enough evidence doesn't equal there is evidence to show harm, right? 
Not enough evidence doesn't mean that there is enough evidence to show that it doesn't work. It just means that it's an unknown. And when there are unknowns, the onus falls on the individual to decide whether it's worth taking or not. But you have to do so within the understanding if there are risks. So are there risks to taking or ingesting your placenta. The biggest risk and the biggest concern from all the research, what they say is there is no evidence of proven benefit, but there is evidence of harm in that there's an increased risk of infection and contamination when you're eating these products. So you're eating an organ that was developed within you. If you had an infection at the time of delivery, is there a risk that that placenta holds on to the infection and then you're ingesting a bacteria filled placenta? Yes, there is. And there has been one case that I've been quoted over and over again about an infant who had an infection called group B strep, which is found in the canal of the vagina, can go up to the uterus and had infected the placenta. And yet mum was ingesting said placenta and there was a concern for reinfection of that newborn. So where there is the risk of infection, is it worth taking these supplements? Alternatively, you could look at it as you get your placenta, you potentially dehydrate it and, and store it and clean it at home. And then it gets sent off to someone for them to create the capsules. Now, if you're not going to somewhere that's done loads or has a good reputation, again, there's a risk of infection and contamination at that point. And then there's also the risk of sharing, right? Like why would you eat someone else's organ? I don't know. but. That's also the advice, like if you are gonna do it, make sure you don't have anyone else's because that again could be risky. But as I was doing the research for this video, I'm like, this sounds no different to beef jerky, potentially the gelatin we found in our gummy bear sweets. It doesn't sound harmful, but there is evidence that it has been harmful. It also doesn't truly sound beneficial because I can't imagine how after that whole process, it holds onto enough nutrients for it to make a difference. Like if you're anemic, you could just eat more red meat, I understand the pun, or take iron supplements or drink green veg. So there are other ways to overcome the anemia. If you're tired and fatigued, then you're probably better off being seen by a clinician and having a full workup and deciding what supplements need replenishing what changes in your diet that you can make to give you more energy or asking for help so that you can get more rest and therefore more energy to get through the day. So there are other ways to get those benefits. Mildly interested in the benefit of putting the placenta in face creams. I could see how you're getting those hormones and nutrients for the skin, but you know, skincare has come on leaps and bounds over the years. So there are also those alternatives. All in all, I'm sure you can tell by my tone in this video. Do I agree that people should be eating their placentas? As someone who sees and delivers placentas, I can't, I can't find it appealing. Do I think that we should remove all autonomy from women and say absolutely not? No, I don't think the evidence is there. And where there is no evidence, I don't think that you can come down strongly either which way. Just if you are going to do it, make sure that you're cleaning it properly, making sure also that you know your infection status. So if at the time of delivery, you spiked to temperature, baby needed antibiotics, chances are your placenta has been exposed to infection and is probably not then best to ingest. Making sure that you're using reputable companies that know how to do it properly and making sure that you are doing everything to keep you and your baby safe. So, if you've eaten your placenta, I want to know in the comments down below. And hopefully I'm not telling you, oh, avoid the processing of the placenta, eat it raw. I'm not, I'm really not. But if you have ingested your placenta, used it as face cream, tell me the benefits that you found down below. There was also something about the placebo effect, whereas like it absolutely does nothing, but because your mind is expecting certain results, your body knows how to manufacture it. Tell me your benefits down below. Would you do it again? Is it worth the faff? and how have you found it? Overall, this page is really just for women who've delivered. Let's talk about everything in the news, things that are genuinely gonna make your recovery different and better, and I look forward to catching you in the next video.